Hi everyone, I'm Rachie. Welcome to Rage for the Stars. So even though Solo hasn't come out yet, there is a group of people who have already decided that they just absolutely hate it. Which makes absolutely no goddamn sense. The whole boycott Solo thing is one of the most pointless things I have ever heard of within the Star Wars fan base. Actually, it's not just pointless. It's counterintuitive. Their thinking is that by, you know, refusing to see Solo and making ticket sales tank, which they're not going to, that they can somehow convince Lucasfilms to make the movies that they want. But here's the thing, that's not gonna work, right? Lucasfilms isn't going to make the movies that you want just because you refuse to see the ones that they're already putting out, right? You can't affect the way an artist makes art by refusing to look at it. You can't give constructive criticism on something that you don't know anything about. And it's not just their treatment of Solo that bothers me. If they don't want to see Solo, then they don't have to see it. Like, you don't need a group of people to talk about how much you hate something or how much you don't want to see something. That's just a pointless way to spend your time anyways. But in this case, it's just, like I said, it's counterintuitive because how are you supposed to give proper feedback if you don't know what it is that you're not going to like about Solo? I mean, you don't even know what you don't like about Solo because you haven't fucking seen it yet. You know, there are people saying that the solo film is completely unnecessary. And you know what? It might end up being unnecessary, which is fine, right? If solo ends up being something that's unnecessary, that is absolutely fine. Like, it doesn't have to be this mind-blowing, world-changing movie for the Star Wars universe. You know, if it's just a fun adventure film, then... Okay, I, I'd consider that money well spent. Even if it's not necessary to the future events of Star Wars or even the past events, then <laughs> whatever. You know, we still get more Star Wars and yeah, I get it. People want more quality Star Wars, but for one thing, quality is subjective. And another thing, if Solo is one of those experimental films that Lucasfilms has to make in order to kind of figure out what their stride is going to be with the anthology movies, I'm okay with that. You know, I'd rather they experiment with storytelling and, you know, maintaining canon with characters that we already know about before they introduce something new that ends up not making any sense with what we already have. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's very safe to make a Han Solo movie. You know, it allows them to give new actors and new directors a chance to bring something to Star Wars. You know, and these anthology movies also give Lucasfilms a chance to explore different movie genres. You know, like I said in a previous video, Solo is a Western movie and Rogue One is a war movie. You know, all of these elements have had tie-ins to the main saga of films, but we haven't really gotten to see what a movie of that specific genre set in Star Wars would look like. And these anthology movies give Lucasfilms a chance to figure out what works and what doesn't work. Or, you know, they might be able to learn what it is about the anthology movies that work and what it is about them that doesn't work. And I'm okay with them taking chances with the Star Wars movies creatively. You know, it gives them a chance to bring a Star Wars movie to people who might like something that doesn't typically fit in with Star Wars. You know, if they're doing it to reach wider audiences, then good on them. Even if it's not hitting the exact audience that they were hoping for, chances are there's still someone who's going to watch Solo and absolutely love it. And there are people who have watched Rogue One, which is my least favorite Star Wars movie, and absolutely loved it. And that's great. We all like different things. And the problem doesn't really stop at Solo. It's just absolutely ridiculous for people to say that Disney is ruining Star Wars. 
or that any one person working on the business end of the franchise is ruining Star Wars. Because it's like, no, they're bringing us more Star Wars. They're making Star Wars stuff that you might not like, but a lot of other people do like it. They might be ruining Star Wars for you, but not everything is for you, so get the fuck over it. Even if Solo is the worst movie ever, even if every other Star Wars anthology movie is worse than Solo, which, you know, we're assuming that it's just gonna be the worst movie ever, even if Episode Nine absolutely tanks, we're not gonna know unless we actually watch the movies. If you see a Star Wars movie come up that you don't want to watch, that's fine. But don't think that not watching it is actually going to change anything. You want Lucasfilms to listen to the fans so much, but if you can't give them actual feedback on Solo, they're, they're not going to listen to you anyways. Creators aren't going to listen to people who don't know what the fuck they're talking about. And unless you see Solo, you're not going to know what the fuck you're talking about. Unless you see episode 9, you're not going to know what the fuck you're talking about. This whole boycott whatever Star Wars movie bullshit, it's not going to bring about the change that you want. If the only Star Wars that you like is the original six movies, that's fine. That's literally all you have to watch. No one's going to make you watch anything else. Really, all that boycott solo is, is making disdain for Star Wars movies about the people who are supporting these bullshit movements. But just the idea that these people actually exist, the ones where everything has to be about them, is so fucking irritating. And honestly, if they leave the Star Wars fan base, I'd be okay with that. I will pop the fucking champagne and celebrate when the last one walks right out the door. And it's not that I'm trying to hate on these people, it's just, they're really fucking stupid. And here's kind of my point with this. Not every single Star Wars movie is going to please every single Star Wars fan. And that's okay. But if something isn't for you, don't make it about you. That is just the single greatest waste of time. You know, you're wasting your time hating on it. You're wasting other fans' times by pestering them, you know, calling them names, saying that they don't understand Star Wars or whatever. I, I guess that's just really my point of all this. If you don't like a Star Wars movie, it's probably not for you. And if it's not for you, don't make it about you. As usual, those are just my thoughts on the subject. I would love to hear what you guys have to say, so go ahead, comment below. Let me know what you think. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more videos. Follow the social media that I'll have linked down below. And I'll see you next time.